what's going on guys i've been in such an attack on titan mood lately i don't know if it's because of the trailers that's coming out for the new game or if season two is finally coming this year in just a few months after almost three years of waiting please attack on titan gods never make us wait that long again but to kick off my predictions and theories of 2016 of attack on titan what better topic to cover than death death just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside doesn't it but the creator of attack on titan a few years ago isayama senpai himself said that originally his intent for the ending of attack on titan was going to involve the death of damn near every character that we know and love and once this information leaked and this outroar from fans came about he decided to change it considering how much people love his characters so he decided to change the ending but he did not say that characters won't die basically in a nutshell what he did say is everybody isn't going to die he changed the ending and some plot points but he never did say that we won't get a few very surprising deaths. So that's what I'm here to do today, to talk to you about who I think is going to die in this tragic series. So I hope you're ready to get your heart hurt. You're welcome. First off, I wanna talk about a few side characters who I think will end up perishing before the end of this, and also the three main characters who I think is most likely to die out of them. You know who the three main characters are, Eden, Mikasa, and Armin. Let's start with the side characters. I really want to say Connie, although I love his character, he seems the most disposable out of all the side characters because, I mean, Gene, he and Aaron have this rivalry thing going on. I don't think Gene is going to die anytime soon. If he does, it's going to be around the end somewhere. Other characters like Hanji, I think that she's going to be around for a while because she has to make some plans. She has to learn a few more things about the Titans. That's what her character seems to be for. And of course, I don't see anyone like Levi dying. Sasha may be, but she's the comedic relief, so she may not go anywhere anytime soon. I actually don't even see her dying, but I mean, comedic reliefs are kind of disposable. But as far as Connie goes, I don't see anything you know, in him that needs to stay around as far as progressing the plot forward anymore. I mean, we know what happened to his mom, we know what happened to his hometown or village or whatever, but his usefulness is almost run its course in my opinion. I mean, of course he can help out in missions or whatnot, I hate to say it, but Connie really doesn't have that much more to offer the story as of right now in the manga. And we know what happens to people in this manga who have run their course of being useful. Look at Hannes. I did not expect the guy that saved Eden and Mikasa from a Titan in the very first episode to be chomped off so early. I actually expected him to go down fighting a Titan towards the end of the series to save Eren considering he was the one that saved them in the first place. That's what I first saw, but I mean, he got jumped, but he went out like a G. He did what he had to do, but that death showed me something. It showed me that no matter if you know the character's name, if they've done something for another main character, in this anime or manga, they can die. Like, no one is safe from death. No side character is safe from death. There is no plot protection in this besides Eren and the other two main characters right now. And hell, even they may die. I'm, I don't think all three of them will die, but there is a possibility of one, maybe two of them dying. In my opinion, I believe if Eren does die, it's going to be around the very, very end of Attack on Titan. Maybe the last chapter or a chapter or two before, I see him going out if he does, you know, protecting everyone else like going up against this huge titan, like maybe the beast titan, maybe someone above the beast titan that we don't know about yet, sacrificing himself for the greater good, something along those lines. If Eren does die, it's going to be heroic, it's going to benefit humanity in some way, it's going to get rid of all the titans somehow. Eren is going to go out in a blaze of glory if he does. If Mikasa dies, I don't know how she would die, but I assume it will be protecting Eren in some way, and if she does, I foresee see Eren going ape shit. We all know that his shape shifting into a titan determines of his own determination and resolve at that moment whether it be a mission to be to just turned into a titan but if she dies in front of his face protecting him I foresee his determination and resolve and anger and sadness and regret stacked on top of that making his titan form even bigger and 
more badass beastly. Aaron might even lose control and just start swinging on anything and everything around him if Mikasa dies. That is a very interesting thought and I would actually like to see that. I would like to see Aaron get bigger than what his Titan form already is and you know gain a few new abilities, maybe a, a few new hardened punches and kicks or whatever. I don't want to see Mikasa die to achieve that so let's forget I said anything. But if she does die I'm pretty sure it's going to be to save Aaron in some way. Now out of the three I think Armin is the most likely to die. The reason I say this is because of course Mikasa and Eden have this chemistry that's going on and by the end I would love to see them you know be free of titans and humanity be saved or whatnot and they grow old together you know have some kids or something because Eren and Mikasa make a pretty good couple you know he protects her she protects him they deserve to be together but Armin he's just kind of like a third wheel he doesn't have any romantic interest I mean he had some sparks with Annie but I think I don't know how Annie is going to be by the end of the story, so she's just kind of out there. She's still in the crystal right now anyway. What I actually see happening to Armin, and I am betting if one of these three characters do die, is going to be Armin. I see him protecting Eren, sacrificing himself for Eren, just like when Eren pulled Armin out of the Titan's mouth. It may be the exact same thing, but vice versa. Maybe Eren is about to get jumped somehow, and Armin saves him and then he gets chomped right in front of Eren. That will piss Eren off also. And I think that would be great fan service. I think that would be a great callback to, you know, earlier in the Attack on Titan series, seeing Armin, you know, suck it up and protecting someone and sacrificing himself like Eren sacrificed himself for him. And of course, currently in the manga, we have the Beast Titan, we have the Colossal Titan. We don't know what's going on with the Armor Titan as of the time of this video. So anyone in that immediate area could die, even Levi. I don't want to see him go, but he is charged to take out the Beast Titan right now. So he may sneak up behind them and the Beast Titan may have like senses out this world and turn around and just bitch slap his ass or something. I mean. Levi is in danger here, but I don't think he's going to go just yet. If Levi does go, I'm pretty sure it is going to be against a powerful foe like the Beast Titan, but I don't think he's going to go right now. If Levi does die, he's going to be one of the last to die in my opinion, because he right now is one of the biggest assets and biggest helps because he is one of the most badass soldiers that this anime has. So I don't see such a big soldier like him being taken out before like the final arc or the final battle or something like that but like I said Connie, Jean, Sasha they're all you know in the lower tier in my opinion they can be taken out at any time but I don't think Jean is simply because the rivalry he has with Aaron I don't think that's going to go anywhere anytime soon and Sasha she's just kind of there she just likes food so I don't know she may become Titan food you never know but tell me who do you guys think is going to die next who do you think will die out of the main three do you think any of them is going to die because personally i do i do believe one of them is going to pass away by the end of this because this series has been too dire and too serious and too threatening to humanity to not have someone die just because they're a main character i mean this anime is well above the danger level of a kamiga kill and we all know what happened to tatsumi at the end of that so with that being said i don't know what do you guys think is going to happen anyway tell me down below this has been jb dutch yeah like comment subscribe and i'm out